Hey you, my name is Laquan and welcome to TG Customs. I'm not even gonna give a long intro today. I'm gonna jump right into this video because I procrastinated on this video, or I should say this order. So we're going on a couples trip, our annual couples trip, and it's, it's leaving tomorrow. And I, yeah, like I said, I procrastinated on this order. So I have less than 24 hours to get these hoodies completed. So we can be able to have our stuff for our trip. So guys, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video, just go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like, comment, question or concern below if you have anything to say. And I'm gonna jump right into the video right now. Right now, right, right now. Let's go. Every time I open this Cricut design space on the laptop, it needs to be updated. Literally every time. Okay, now that the update is complete, we're gonna go ahead and continue opening up Cricut Design Space. Okay, so this project we're using two colors. We're using black and orange. As you can see, the black is separate from the orange. Now, I'm, I'm gonna print the orange out separately. Instead of just printing it out attached, I am doing the oranges not attached. So we'll have one piece of orange here, one piece of orange there. So let's bring these back together so I can size it. We're gonna Command A, I am on a Mac, and highlight all of the project. Check our sizing, we're gonna do 11.5 width and 10.8 height. Um, let's just make sure that this is the correct measurement. So let's get our hoodies. Okay, so I'm only measuring the smaller hoodie because the larger, the largest that the Cricut can cut to is 11.5. So measuring for the larger hoodies is really irrelevant for me at this time. Because that's the biggest they're going to get anyway. So we're just going to make sure that it's going to fit onto this medium hoodie. With no problem. So what would you say guys? 11.5, which is the width. So that's, they're looking at that here. So, okay. And then 10 point something, right? So we can see we want to get it down to this the pocket that's down here so if I start from the pocket because that's where it's gonna sit let's do 10.5 and get it up yeah we have space so I'm just gonna print them all at the same size to make life easier and we are doing six and we are doing six hoodies today so some people I know they would from this screen, they'll copy and paste the amount of images that they want to print, which would be six. However, me, I don't do that. I just go straight to make it. And on the right here, we're going to select six and apply. And that will give us six of the images. I'm going to size the mat to 12 by 24, because that is my biggest mat. And then you see that the mats will hold two of the black part, the black image. So I'm gonna mirror all of them now. So I don't forget, because your girl will forget. And change this one to 12 by 24 as well. It's, mirror, it's still mirrored and mirrored. Now you can see that the orange fits all on this one mat. And there's still space over here. But yet, Cricut wants to be lazy and put the next one little image on the other mat by itself. So we're going to move that. So to move your image from one mat to another, you click on these. You click the image. Click on these three dots at the upper left corner. Move object. And then select the image you want to move to. And confirm. And then you just move this to where you want it to be cut on the mat. So we're just going to use this empty space right here. We're going to rotate the image. And we're going to cut it right here. Now, I'm going to take it a step further because I want to save paper, baby. And we're going to move another image into the empty spot to the right. So we're going to rotate that and move her over. And guess what? I've just got like two inches of paper, but that's going to be used on a future project. Trust me. Save about 20 cents right there. All right, 
right guys so we are ready to cut so remember when i said that i have less than 24 hours to get these hoodies completed that means i have less than 24 hours to do everything else that i need to do before i go on this trip by the way guys the trip will be vlogged and if you guys want to see the trip um, we will be vlogging and putting it on our travel slash weekend channel. Uh, I'm trying to start the channel back up. It's been a while since I have like, you know, like travel videos. So if you guys want to watch our vacation, just go ahead and click in the description box below. You'll see my travel, the link to my travel channel. I actually linked the specific playlist for you guys. So you guys can check out that. But yeah, guys, so I have to get other things done before this trip. So right now, um, you're not going to see the cutting part of this because I have to use my phone. I have to do a quick workout. So I'm not going to record the cutting process. So next tip you see will be me probably reading or pressing. So, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut and I'll be back to you guys when I'm ready to weed or press or after the workout, whatever that is. So nice of my husband to start weeding while I was working out to get a little faster, to get things done a little quicker. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna finish reading the rest of these and then get to press them. make things a little simpler what I would do is sort out the design so I'm gonna take each hoodie put the design on it so they'll already be attached let me see if I can get a better angle for y'all hold on okay is that a good angle I can't really see let's try hoodie number one I'm gonna get a black I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these hoodies. I'm gonna try to get through this quickly, so I'm not gonna record it, but I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. I messed up a shirt. I messed up a shirt. It's not supposed to look like that. This part is actually melted onto the plastic. <laughs> Okay, let's figure out how to fix it. Oh. Oh. Okay. I just went ahead and I took another piece just of this image. As you can see, it's already pressed on onto the shirt, but I'm just gonna overlap this one to cover up what's already pressed. Thankfully, this is layerable vinyl, so it shouldn't be a problem close that gap off and get this pressed down and I'll just keep this hoodie for myself <laughs> so nobody don't feel like I messed them up <laughs> okay and there is the repair 
See, you can't even tell the mountains. Little issues here, but whatever. It's my hoodie. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get the rest of them done. You'll see that this one with the black and the orange, they are together. I'm not going to be pulling off any of the colors. You know, they're there because with this orange, I make sure to cut it close enough to the design where any of the black vinyl would not be over layering it. So we can just press them both at the same time. And I am done with all of the hoodies. Here they are. Like I said, we are going on a group trip. So I'm gonna get these packaged up so that the owners can get them before because I can't put this in my suitcase. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm gonna get these packaged, like I said, and get ready to be given to the owners so that they can pack it in their suitcase. If you guys do wanna join me on my vacation, be sure to visit my vlog channel link will be in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye